Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? And we back with another one, two in one day videos for the play. So show you guys how to create the CPN numbers. A lot of people hit me up. I did a video last year, about a year and a half ago, streamlining the whole process of how to make a CPN, how to try merge it, how to get into public records, how to get trade lines for it. And people get stuck on this first step of actually creating the number. To me, it's the easiest part. But you guys got to do it a certain way. So I'm going to break it down to you. I want to go to the stevemorris.org website and show you guys specifically how to decode your social security numbers, your CPN numbers, or even if you got to even do that, if it's even necessary to build a profile. I've been successfully building profiles, helping people get into cars, helping people get into apartments, um, have testimonials, people have helped. Um, getting new houses for their kids. So rock with me, message me on Credit K or you can book in a uh, consultation, creditk.com, message me Instagram, TikTok at Credit K and I got you. And I also create blank CPNs for people if this is still too hard for you. But I'm going to show you how I do it so you guys can save a little money and create you a hustle. That's what I'm all about, giving back. If you got boss up, get some money in y'all pockets. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it, just pay me. I got you. So let's hop into the website. We got the boy Steve Morris. SteveMorris.org backslash SN backslash SN dot HTML. You see the website link right there. Copy that. Put it in your browser and let's rock out. All right. All right. So look like I'm going to have to blur some stuff out in this video. So good. All right, so this is how you decode a social. You feel me? All right, so we come to the website. Now, you got the first three numbers. The first three numbers are the most important. Or really the only thing that really matters. Everything else is just made up numbers. But the first three is what really counts. So we got in different states. You can see what state. So, no, of course, I was born. In Georgia, I'm an 80s baby. Yes, I'm dating myself. I'm old. I was born in the 1900s. But I still look good for my age. Man, I still got all my hair, hairline popping. So, you know, let's try your way. But anyway, man, let's get to it. So, mine starts with a two, five, uh, three number. And uh, so that's how it is. So that's kind of legit is people in my age bracket, you know, have these ranges of social security numbers. Now, with that being said, if you want to pick your range, if you're like born in, you know, 95 or a little under before you're an older person, there's a lot of people in the world in that same age range and that born in that same state. The reason you're having issues with creating the number is because the number is already ticking because so many people born in that time frame have got the numbers and they're probably still alive. So the Social Security number hasn't recycled yet. So the issue is not there's not any numbers out there. You're just picking the wrong first three. So anything before 97 is probably going to be taken. And you're not going to be able to find the year you were born. I know other people say that's important. That's necessary. That's only important if you're using your number for employment, maybe to get in school somewhere where they actually do verification checks and they do things like mean, age verification and things like that. But just for a car loan, for a, you know, renting a house, getting a credit card, get some care credit, get some cell phones. What most of you guys are trying to do with the CPN, that is not needed. So you can pick any number from any state and build on it. Of course, it's better, you know, if you're going to use the address in Georgia, then, you know, find a uh, Georgia um, prefix. Find three numbers that are for Georgia. But we're not going to do 97. We're going to do 97 or a little earlier. Now, these numbers will be available in this range. I use this range all the time. You will not have any problems. Same thing for other states. Try to find something after 1980 for Florida, really 2001 or newer. After 2001, really after 1999 and the 2000s when the 
young people start taking over. You don't want any old numbers. And then you go to not valid. So these are the not valid numbers. You can't use anything from 800 to 899, uh, you know, 666. No one is using the 666, 773, 779. You can't use those either. But use these templates to see where it is. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people are born in Hawaii. Not a lot of people have social security numbers created in Hawaii, especially your African-American ass. Eh? So don't pick Hawaii. That might be a red flag. But, you know, pretty much Virginia, you know, D.C., Maryland, Virginia areas. A lot of people out that way. That was a good one. 2004. So you shouldn't have a problem. And then uh, once you got the first three, so we got 691 for here. Let's go just find the 691 on here. Boom. So that should come up with Virginia. Virginia. Bam. See how it is? It do everything for you. So now you got your Virginia. If somebody born in 2009, um, you know, they're not quite uh, – issue in 2009 2010 so that might be a little too new you want to have somebody at least 18 years old so you want to do what uh 2004 2005 issued in so you just kind of play with the numbers until you get a range but finding your exact year is not necessary because it's going to be taken and you're going to say, I can't find nothing that's validated. So after that, you come to your validation website and find a number. You want it to say invalid. You want it to say invalid. You dig? You want it to say invalid. So you're going to type a number in. Let me just throw in some numbers here. 691. I'm going to do this. Three. I got too many numbers here. Yeah, three, two, and nine. Let's see if it's validated. Invalid. I just made a CPN for you guys. Boom, right then. Somebody can take that number and use it. Now, you know, I wouldn't do it because somebody else probably did this already and you're going to get yourself jammed up. But I just made a number, an invalid number. This is a number you can use right here live in the video. Invalid. All right. So you want to say invalid. If it's valid, that means the Social Security number, a Social, Social Security Administration has issued it to somebody. Now, it could be somebody that's like 14, 15 who hasn't started to establish credit yet. And you can probably use that number. But once they start establishing their credit, and things going to start merging with your file, and it's not going to be a good look. So always find something that says invalid. That means the Social Security Administration has not issued it. If it's valid, that means they have validated it, that it belongs to somebody. So you want to say invalid. Do not leave a comment down below. It's a valid. Do you mean is it good? No. I mean, it's in. You need to say invalid so no one has. I know it doesn't make sense. That you know you want an invalid, but you want an invalid number. All right. So that's it. Boom. Made a CPN number live in the video. You got it. How to create one. Now, if this is still too hard for you, it's still too much. You don't want to go through it. You don't got the time. Hit me up. I'm doing specials all this week. Hundred dollar bank CPNs. Blank meaning there's no information attached. It's just the number. You're gonna have to build everything onto it. And uh, you can follow my other videos. I got videos on how to build, how to get trade lines, how to build public records. You have to get into public records first. You have to get into the places where the credit bureaus can find you so they can actually approve you. That's another reason you guys are not getting approved for things with your CPN is because you guys are not building the proper public records. And the game is to be sold, not told. I do have videos on how to do it, but I do not go in depth like I do for my one-on-one -on -one consultation. So hit me up or get the CPN guide link in the bio. It's only 25 bucks. And then, uh, you know, it can break down the whole sauce to you. But I'm always giving free game, man. I hope y'all take advantage of this. I'm gone.